if you're doing something with the sense and the intention of solely making money, that's all you want to do is just make money. I don't think it's going to work well for you because I think this is my theory on it. I'm speculating here as a podcaster, as a content creator. Brendan thought that just being attached to Joe Rogan, he would get everybody's good graces. And that's not how it works. You still have to put in the time. You still have to put in the effort because people don't like people that skip the line. That's just not a natural thing in society. If we've been waiting here for an hour, we've been waiting here for two days for these Stanley Cups. You're not just going to come and pull up to Target and think, yo, you about to get, get. Nah, we about to be fighting in aisle eight. That's a fact. So Brendan thought he could skip the line. It doesn't work like that, Papo. You got to really cook. You got to really build. This is the Furious Robinson Podcast. I'm your host, Furious, your curator of conversation. Wordsmith aficionado. Voted most likely to have an amazing first date. And if you're here, tap in early. Hit the like button. Drop a comment and subscribe. Come on now. You see the planes. You already know what time it is. I'm on the fringes of degeneracy. Like I say, it's a social decline. And I didn't really want to come here. I didn't know I was going to make it to this level and this side of content. But somehow, some way, Brendan Schwab went ahead and quit comedy. Um, yeah, I had to cancel Austin and Nashville. Uh, and usually I hate doing that stuff. Um, it happens. But uh, yeah, I, th- I think this time I just don't care. That's where I'm at. I, I got I to gotta be home more. I'm going to pull back from touring so much. And I just got to be home, man. I got to. I can't miss Tiger's games. Can't miss my boss D growing up. Uh, baby girl. Uh, just I can't do it anymore. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. I'm freaking tired. You know, I've been hustling for over 12 years now. Not that I'm going to stop doing the pods, but... As far as the the plane life and stuff like that, I got I got to chill out. I can do spots in LA, I can do local, SoCal, NorCal, but going international or you know going across the the freaking United States ain't happening right now. So I'm gonna take a break from that and just focus on family and uh, do my thing, man. Do my thing. So yeah, let's get into it. Enough of that. Enough of that. Um, I'm not gonna hold you. Sucks to suck. Like yo, Brendan. I'm not going to kind of not tell you that this wasn't the route for you because I don't know what your journey is. I don't know what your story is. But when I looked at you trending up in comedy at the rapid light speed, I didn't think this was going to end very well. And I'm not going to say, yo, I'm here to dog pile. I'm here to kick his back in. But at the end of the day, this is a very, very teachable moment. This is a very teachable moment to me. When you try to latch on and leech on to your homies and to your friends, it's not going to work like that. Brendan Schwab thought he could get the Joe Rogan stimulus package. It didn't work. You still have to put in the work. You still have to put in the time. And this is the thing to me. When you think you can do 10 million things and trick us with your work ethic and you work hard and this is this, Kevin Hart does it well. I'm not going to hold you. Kevin Hart does it amazingly well. He's always working. That's kind of in his mantra. If you follow Brendan, he used to do the same thing. He used to be like, oh, I'm doing this. I'm doing Showtime. I'm eating food. I'm talking about the UFC. I'm doing shows. I'm doing podcasts. I'm doing all these. You got your hands in all these pots. What are you actually great at? What are you actually good at? Because you're not Joe Rogan. So I looked at it and I was like, ah, he quit comedy. And I get it. Gringo Poppy was straight trash. I was like, why are you doing comedy? Like, who told you? Who told you to do this? Like, why? Like, I get it. Everybody has like passions and it, you know, you see me, I'm doing a podcast. Cool. But it's like, <laughs> so I can only be so hypocritical. But it's like, if you're doing something with the sense and the intention of solely making money. That's all you want to do is just make money. I don't think it's going to work well for you because I think this is my theory on it. I'm speculating here as a podcaster, as a content creator. Brendan thought that just being attached to Joe Rogan, he would get everybody's good graces. And that's not how it works. You still have to put in the time. You still have to put in the effort because people don't like people that skip the line. That's just not a natural thing in society. 
If we've been waiting here for an hour, we've been waiting here for two days for these Stanley Cups. You're not just going to come and pull up to Target and think, yo, you about to get, get... Nah, we about to be fighting in aisle eight. That's a fact. So Brendan thought he could skip the line. It doesn't work like that, Papo. You got to really cook. You got to really build. So this is a tough thing to me. When you start to bring your family into it and your kids into it, then I can't really go too deep. I can't really be like, because I can't say, oh, he's lying. You know, I don't think he's lying. I think he actually has family aspects going on to where he maybe has to stop traveling so much, but also call out the other side. You're not selling any tickets. Nobody's showing up to see Gringo Poppy part five. Like we just not. So when you really step into these spaces, I want you you know, you guys who get these stimulus packages from Joe, it's all good. A lot of y'all boys are thriving. No name, no need to put any names on these bullets. Everybody's doing well, right? But Brendan, put in the work first. Why didn't you put in the work? I don't get it. Like, if you got the stimmy, if you get signed to the NFL, you a rookie. You making 800000 Maybe if you really solid, you making $2 million a year. That's when you really supposed to... Put in the work. That's when you're really supposed to step up and say, yo, I'm a rookie. I'm going to get hazed, but I'm also put in the work. I'm going to study the playbook. I'm going to watch film. I'm going to get out and go practice after practice. I'm going to actually put in the time. We can tell. Brendan from Gringo Poppy, you ain't put in the time, bro. Apparently, the Mexican culture turned 15 is a big deal. White people, we don't give a fuck. <laughs> These Mexicans gave all the fuck, yeah. I walk in the house, these Mexicans give a fuck about social distancing. There was a mask in sight. I walk in the house, there's a mariachi band. But they're beating the shit out of this pinata. There's flaming hot Cheetos spraying over the goddamn living room. I walk in, I look at my girl, Jesus Christ, quite the party. What are we celebrating? What, she getting to Harvard early? What's going on here? She goes, nope, just turned 15. I went, Fuck yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You're not Bernie Mac. You're not Patrice O'Neill. You're none of these guys. You're not a great. Your jersey not in the rafters. Brendan Shaw to me, this is sick work. Because yo, his type of rhetoric and his type of talking points is all aligned with Joe Rogan. So it's essentially, oh, I'm driving the Porsches and the cars. Yo. Hey, what do they say? The chickens are coming home to roost? Like, yo, where does Brendan end up? Does he end up really maybe pivoting, going into acting, going into movies? Is he going to lean into the USC? Is he going to lean into the shows? What is he doing? Is he a full-time, you know, content creator and podcaster now? What is Brendan Schaub actually doing with this extra time since he won't be traveling on weekends? What is he doing? Let me know in the comments. Tap in, hit the like button, drop a comment, and subscribe. You already know what time it is. This is the Furious Robinson Podcast. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we up.